Ah, the 011 Dynamic, perhaps the most used case on Robitech over the past couple of years. Although, I can put it on the left side of my desk now? Whoa, whoa, find out what I mean right here on Robitech. Origin PC is a high quality custom PC build maker that provides you endless possibilities to build you your dream PC rig. Whether that's custom water cooled or AIO cooled builds, or fully customized builds or pre configured builds, Origin PC has got you covered. They can even do sweet custom designs on the cases using the latest in print technology to take your brand or custom build to the next level. Check it all out at OriginPC.com. It's no surprise that the Lee & Lee 011 Dynamic, when it first launched, was quickly going to be one of the best selling cases of all time. To this day, it's still highly sought after, though cases like the Height Y60 and the Corsair 5000D are definitely getting to share some of the spotlight now. No more spotlight hogging 011, yeah. I'm talking to you. Now, because of the success of the 011 Dynamic, Lee and Lee has made many different variations of this case, including the Mini, the XL, the Air, the Air Mini, and now the Evo. But what is different about the Evo as opposed to the original 011 Dynamic? There are multiple things that are different. The Evo now has two different modes, normal mode and reverse mode. Wait, what is reverse mode? Reverse mode is when you can completely flip the chassis and have the tempered glass displayed on the opposite side of what most cases currently are. It's pretty in depth in taking the entire case apart and moving all of the parts around. We could list all the steps, but Lee and Lee was kind enough to make a video on how to do it. But don't, don't, don't leave yet. We aren't done here. You can go watch that later. I promise it'll still be there. So what is reverse chassis good for? Well, that's it. You can put it on the left side of your desk. Amazing, stupendous, incredible. I mean, I am blown away that you can put it on the left side of your desk. Celebrate. The Evo comes in three different colors, modern black, pure white, and harbor gray. It retails for right around $170 to $210, depending on the color you choose, which of course we have links down in the description for. By the way, while you're down there, if you're liking this video and you want more like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It may be the best decision you make today. So the 011 Evo comes in at a whopping 465 millimeters by 285 millimeters by 459 millimeters. The Evo provides a top aluminum mesh panel, followed by a back side mesh aluminum panel to provide an optimal ratio of airflow and dust filtering. An advantage of the Evo is that the new panels are made with a new mechanism to mount them, which makes it easier to remove and it eliminates the need for taking off the top panel first, much like the other Owen ones on the market. Another great thing about the Evo is the optional front mesh and top IO kit you can purchase separately along with other items such as the vertical GPU kit, an upright GPU kit, and an additional IO kit that increases the number of ports to make sure the case is completely customizable. And from us to Lee and Lee, Thank you very much for that. Now made from steel, aluminum, and tempered glass, the Lee & Lee 011 Dynamic Evo Beauty shines through. That's a Tom line, so hey Tom, your beauty shines through on this script. For front I.O., you get two USB 3 Type-A ports, one USB 3.1 Type-C port, one HD audio slash mic jack. Now the front I.O. port is located at the bottom of the case, but it is actually relocatable by getting the top mount I.O. kit from Lee & Lee. So it comes with your typical reset button and something awesome, dare I say evolutionary, it's a multi-directional power button that can be best from both the front or side of the chassis, along with an LED color and mode button with a front panel cable that easily connects to the Uni Hub that comes with a three pack of Uni fans from Lee & Lee. All right, enough about the outside of the Evo, let's look at the inside where the beauty is. Let's start with motherboards. You can do ITX, Micro ATX, ATX, and EATX. As long as they're under 280 millimeters, they will fit in the Evo. Let's talk about PSUs. Any PSU up to 220 millimeters, such as like that Corsair HX1000 Platinum, will fit in here no problem. Oh, and by the way, you can actually remove the HDD cage on the back to make room for a second PSU if you choose to be more advanced than the rest of us. Graphics cards, we got you. Any GPU up to 426 millimeters in length for both modes will fit in this case. So like that NVIDIA RTX 3090 Ti Founders Edition will fit in here with no issues. And let me tell you, this GPU was beefy and expensive, which is maybe why it's in stock. But hey, 
it's in stock. Now for your storage purposes, we will always recommend NVMe drives as they are much faster and there are far less cables. But if you have two and a half inch SSDs and or three and a half inch HDDs, you have a lot of options here. On the bottom, you can fit four 2.5 inch SSDs or two three and a half inch HDDs. On the back side, you can put four two and a half inch SSDs or two three and a half inch HDDs. The drive cage, should you be less advanced and only want one PSU, I mean, come on, I'm preparing for the invasion of 4000 series cards, am I right? So you can fit three two and a half inch SSDs or two three and a half inch HDDs plus an additional 2.5 inch SSD. On the cable management bar on the back, which is something that's optional, but if whatever mode you're in, you can also fit an additional two, two and a half inch SSDs. All right, fans and radiator time. But Roby, wait, what if I want to air cool instead of an AIO? You may want to think twice about an air cooled build in this case. Let's face it, the Lee and Lee 011 series are meant for showcases. And now with the Evo, those showcase builds can get optimal cooling with the mesh panel. But if you really want to do an air cooler, anything up to 167 millimeters in height, and make sure you get that optional airflow panel to make sure that your build and your CPU are getting plenty of air to get cooled with. All right, on to radiators and fans. Up top, you can do two 140 millimeter or three 120 millimeter fans. For radiators, you can do a 280 millimeter or a 360 millimeter with a total max thickness of 87.5 millimeters. So radiators like your Corsair H150i Elite Capellix will fit no issue whatsoever. In the rear, you can do one 120 millimeter fan only. On the bottom, for fans, you can do two 140 or three 120 millimeter. For radiators or AIOs, you can do one 360 millimeter down there with a total max thickness just like the top of 87.5 millimeters. And finally, on the side, you can do two 140 millimeter or three 120 millimeter fans. For radiators, you've got a 280 millimeter or a 360 millimeter either radiator or AIO. Whoa, okay, so that is a lot of fans and Lee and Lee cases are known for holding a lot of fans. Now who has more fans, me or the 011 EVA? Don't answer that, my heart can't take the disappointment. All right, let's jump to the reverse mode. Everything is exactly the same as normal mode except for the top. In reverse mode, you can fit two 140 millimeter or three 120 millimeter fans or a 360 millimeter radiator slash AIO. There is no 280 millimeter like in normal mode. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Lee and Lee did include screw holes on the drive cage to be able to mount a 60 millimeter fan to keep those drives cool. Is it necessary? Maybe, maybe not, but you can, and that's something. Sound off if you did, and if you did something, I'd really like to know. So let's take a look at the build in the Evo with an upright GPU installed in normal mode to see what it looks like with temps, benchmarks, and just downright fun. We're gonna be using the Core i9-12900K. We're gonna be using the MSI MEG Z690 Ace. This thing has 24 karat gold foil on it. Yeah, baby, we got gold foil on this mobo. We're gonna be using the EKAIO. This is their Elite 360 DRGB. We are gonna be using DDR5, this time from XPG. We're using their Lancer RGB. So this is DDR5, this is 6,000. By the way, 6,000 megahertz. We're using the Fire Cuda. 520, you know, what better choice than the EVGA uh, for the Win 3 Ultra? Because we're using the RTX 3080 Ti, that means that we're gonna be using a thousand watt PSU. For fans, uh, we're gonna be using the AL120s. And then lastly, we've got our usual Asia Horse cables. And then of course, we've also got the upright GPU kit uh, from Lee and Lee. So there's all of our parts right there. That's everything. I'm excited. It's got gold. Look at that gold. Oh, is this an EATX motherboard? Maybe. Yeah, it's EATX. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna switch boards. Just like I originally planned, we're using the MSI Z690 carbon Wi-Fi. <laughs> you just imagine gold on it. It's got carbon fiber though. Let's open up our CPU. Look at all those beautiful pins waiting. Who doesn't love RAM clicks? We're gonna throw a Seagate Fire Cuda 510. Even though it says 530 over here, that was because we had to show it before it came out. Okay, installed. Grabbing the case. 011 Evo, baby. It's easier if you do, but you do not have to remove the top to get to the front or anything like that. So now you don't have to do that, which is kind of cool push this off just like that, and that just pops right out. Pretty simple there. Just for fun, let's put our GPU in. 
Look at that carbon actually looks like it matches really well too. That's completely stable and that's not gonna move. <gasps> I heard stuff. There it goes. Look at that. I legitimately, and here's the deal, I legitimately like all the new finishing touches and quality of life improvements that the Evo provides. This is definitely the nicest O11 to build in, and that's because the amount of modularity Lee and Lee provides with this version of the case. I really do wish that more case manufacturers would listen to their community like it feels like Lee and Lee is listening. Now for the new part that we did do, the upright GPU installation, the process for this is anything but straightforward. But if you take your time and follow the instructions, you will get through it. I mean, you can watch it pretty much step by step from my live stream right here. But the only part that's super weird and not really sure how to fix this is that once your cables are plugged into your GPU, AKA your HDMI, your display port, et cetera, you have to physically remove the card to change them again. They get routed out of the back of the case through the provided grommet. And if you decide to only do like HDMI instead of DisplayPort, you're gonna be opening up your PC, removing your GPU and adding the cable and reinstalling it to switch it all out. It's not convenient, but is the cost worth it? You know what, I used to say no, because the other problem was the riser cable, which given the short nature of it was really kind of hard to hide and rather unsightly. Now with the Harbor Gray and the smoke glass, it was easier, but if you had like the Snow White case, then that cable was pretty visible and hard to hide. However, thanks to the build gods and Lee and Lee listening to feedback, there is now a longer riser cable available that will allow you to route this and keep it nicely hidden. So I'm asking that question again, is it worth it? Well, now it's up to you, the builder. It's a very unique look. And if you want that unique look, which, okay, I'm just gonna be honest, I thought it looked like fire, as did many people on Instagram. So you have to ask yourself, is it worth the cost of having those permanently routed cables? Then, hey, you're good to go, it's okay. And the only thing is, let's just be honest, you can always hide the spare cables inside the case and pop them out via that back grommet when you really need them. It doesn't feel like a terribly big deal and you can't see them plugged into the card anyway. So basically, it's, I don't know, it just, it feels like a wash. But I guess if you need to change anything, it's kind of a pain. But anyway, the build experience was exceptional, Roby. So what about thermals, Roby? I mean, it can have a lot of fans, but you're using like a whole bank of those side fans for that upright mounted GPU. How did that impact things? Honestly, it didn't really. And I think the only case where it could be an issue if you're potentially air cooling the case, which not sure why you would, but hey, some people gotta represent. So CPU thermals for our 12900K cooled by the EK Waterblock Elite 360 AIO inside of the Lee & Lee 011D Evo, when at idle, we're sitting at 26 in both open and closed case scenarios. Even when we put things under load and push the CPU to 100%, we see things hitting 75 in the open case and an only slightly warmer 81 in the closed case. Now comparing that to like our Corsair 5000T, that's about a three degree warmer in both cases, but nothing to really be crazy about and showing that in either case, you're getting enough cooling given this heat generation of the 12900K. Well then what about the upright GPU temps then, Roby? If it's upright, do we see worse or better temps? Or in this case, is it just better posture? <laughs> I know, dumb. Okay, so at idle, our EVGA RTX 3080 Ti in the upright config was sitting at 32 in the open case scenario and an only slightly warmer 38 in the closed case scenario. But when we start pumping those kitty memes and pushing the GPU to 100% to break a sweat, we see things pop up to 65 in the open case and an only slightly warmer 70 in the closed case. So it looks like if you wanna go upright GPU, 
then go for it. Now, normally in our review, this is where I would put like how this build did in games, but I'm gonna change that up a bit. We're gonna have that at the very end of the video to help bring in the time these reviews take and be more respectful of your watch time. So I'd love to know down in the comments if you like this new format, which is shorter, or if you prefer the old one, which were included all of this information in our ultimate review. And also while you're down there, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I appreciate it. So wrapping it all up, Roby, the Lee and Lee 011 Evo is in fact an evolution on a very tried and true formula that in many ways even turns it on its head. See what I did here? Turns it on its head because you can flip it. Okay. Outside of the upright GPU and maybe even completely transforming the case, everything in this build is now easier, slicker, and more build friendly as the case has gotten better and hopefully continues to get better with each iteration. The upright GPU is cool and new and outside of the weirdness of having to hook up your video cables and even have them permanently installed, there is no impact to the performance and Lee and Lee already fixed the biggest issue which was providing an optional longer riser cable. If you have your eye on this case or you wanna do an 011 build or even a PC build in general, I cannot recommend this case enough. By the way, don't forget to stay tuned, post the closing at the very end of the video if you wanna see how the 12900K and the 3080 Ti did in actual games. Okay, so what did you think? Because it's not really just about what I think, I wanna know what you think. Tell us your thoughts, and maybe you can win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below, along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video. What surprised you about the case, the, the evolution, whatever. Just not, I deserve to win, can I have a free PC on the Lee and Lee Owen Win Evo or something similarly weird or lame. You also need to ensure that you have a way for us to reach you via your YouTube profile like your email, like you need to put your email in your YouTube profile because guess what? We don't tell you via comments if you actually won, those are a scam. Now we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment below that is worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. Now, did you like this case? Did you like the video? Was this review helpful? Do you actually like the fact that you can put it on the left side of the desk versus the right side of the desk? What are your thoughts on upright GPUs? Do you like that you can move things around in this case? We'd love to know all of that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Robitech. Did you know that we have a live stream channel for special builds and events? In fact, we premiere many cases like the 011 Evo on that channel. So check out Robitech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get a notification when we go live there. Do you have questions about this case or any other tech-related questions? Then check out our amazing Discord server filled with other tech and PCT enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech? Then check out at robotechdeals.com or at robotechdeals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet for the best deals on all things tech from PC components to TVs to games. Finally, we can also follow me and my entire team on all the other socials at Robotech everywhere. We hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.